what up money team this is a money coming back with another video um i'm here to give y'all a little bit of information about what's going on um so i passed my simulator test and now i'm on to actually work on a real truck so they're going to give you this packet when you first get here which is your pre-trip it's this, this packet right here. Now, you have your engine compartment right here and everything. Now, they, <laughs> you need to learn all of this. Now, the pre-chip is part of your test. This engine compartment, front, back. Sorry, that's the stuff over there. That's Sorry about that. Um, the driver door fuel area, this front and back. This trailer, the front and back of that. Now, for your test, your test day, um, these three right here, the the engine compartment, the dual fuel area, and the trailer. Now, they can choose one of those on the test to do for you. I mean, you you have to do for the test, and then the coupling area and the lights and in cabin inspection and the um, brake test is mandatory. So no matter what it is, no matter what you do, you have to learn this in cabin inspection, the lights, and the um, brake, uh, the brake um, test, uh, air brake test. So yeah, so I just say I would just say study all of it, you know, cause. Some people will get lucky and they will make you do the whole truck. So that's the the engine, the door area, fuel tank, the coupling, the trailer, the lights, and, um, and the um, air brake test. So I just advise you to study all of it. For, for me, I got it all the way down to the trailer part. Because right now I'm still waiting on my trainer to um, give me a call. And he'll train me on the um, in cabin and the um, the lights. Because when you're out there with your group and everything like that, it's kind of it's kind of a lot of people. So you don't really work on the in cabin and the lights. So I'm guessing that's really part of like your um, PSD training and stuff so like for me how I really study for this is I will read everything I will read the first page I break it down in like little bitty in sections so first I will learn the engine compartment first I will read this whole this whole paper front and back of the engine and I want to make sure I read it all the way because you have to say the words the, the exact same way on here. And I will try to see if I can do it without um, without the paper. And that's how I get stuck in my head. Now, once, once you get this paper down correct and everything like that, and you get out there on the truck and you can see all the different... Um, parts on there it will come I'm telling you come super easy and everything I'm just letting you know that this right here this pre-trip it ain't no joke when you first get here when I first got here man it was just so overwhelming when I first seen it I was like oh my god I gotta learn all this like really like who's gonna actually like who who's gonna actually like help me with all this stuff but you gotta realize that you come out here to get a job you know true nobody is really going to baby you and anything like that you have to get out here 
and do your work, you know, study. This is what you come out here for. You know, you this is what you need. So you want that lavish life and everything like that to get behind that wheel, want to travel everywhere and everything like that. You need to pass this pre-trip plus a backing test plus a road test. Then you have your CDLs. But I'm just warning you that it might be a little bit overwhelming for those who's coming to Prime or get into any type of trucking company or anything like that. You're going to have to learn this pre-trip and learn your truck because it's very important and it's a safety. It's part for your safety and for the other people that's driving around you because if you you go out there, you get your license, just say if you get your license and you didn't check your your engine the right way and something is leaking and you have to call roadside assistance right and then you call them and be like it's something liquid is leaking and they ask you where it's leaking from oh, excuse me and you be like uh i i don't know that's because you ain't do your preacher right or you ain't study the right way or anything like that you don't know your parts on your vehicle so it is very important to study this preacher because you will save your life save money and you will save the other people life too so just saying man pre-trip is very 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 important to everything you know so i pretty much got it down so far all the way down to the trailer from the engine to the driver's side door to the coupling to the trailer and the only thing i gotta work on is my end cabin and my lights that's it and i can do that with my trainer whenever um he called me and it's time because there's a lot of people out here right now that's training and it's probably got a trainer already some people finna test out on monday so i'll probably be getting a trader a trainer pretty soon so i'm not really trying to rush it because as much time as i you know stay away or don't have a trainer as much time I can still study this and get this down packed so by the time I get with my trainer I'll be already ready you know and I can just work on my backing and my um my backing and my driving that's it you know and my inside cabin air brakes um tests and and the lights that's it but you know I just want to give y'all a little bit of information you know a little bit a little bit of tips on how to study you know um i can say another good another cool thing about it about the pre-trip you know if you if i look at it i look at it like this so the driver door fuel area people will notice if you if you never took an inspect i mean um never did a pre-trip inspection i'm just gonna let you know right now it's gonna be very overwhelming you like, man, I gotta remember all these um all these words and everything. Now the things you should remember at all time is probably mounted secure, not crack bent or broken, and no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and not leaking. That's what you should remember. Now, always keep that in your head. Everything is always properly mounted secure, not crack bent or broken. Now for my driver's um my driver door fill area, I put it as like so you got your mirror, your driver door mirror, then you have your door hinges, then you have your fuel tank. All of that is in the front of the um cab. Everything else on this paper is in the back of the cab. So once you get those three done right there, now you know you in the back of the cab. So you ain't gotta worry about those no more. That's how I look at it like that. And then I noticed like um, when you um, so on the engine compartment every time every time you have a shock absorber it's always right out the shock absorber come your brake lines. Then your brake lines lead to your brake chamber, lead to your slack adjuster, and your push tire rod. Then your um, then your your brake drum 
Then your brake lining, your axle seal, your lug nuts, your rim, and your tire. So every time you see a shock absorber, you know for a fact right after that shock absorber, a tire, your brakes, your brake lining, and everything else is coming. So just remember that. If anybody plan on coming to the Prime, just remember that, you know, so when you look at it, you be like, okay, it's my shock absorbers. I know right after that, my brake lines is coming. You know, my brake lines, my my brake drum, my, um, uh, what's that, my push, I mean, my slack adjuster and push rod. Uh, um, I don't know, no. Yeah, brake lines, brake chambers. Then my own slack adjusters and push rod. Then brake drum. Then brake lining. Then the tire, the rim, um, the um, what's that? Lug nuts and the hub seal. So it's pretty. It's just pretty repetitive. Uh, uh, repetitive. After you get to a certain point, because when you once you go to the trailer, the trailer have the same thing. It have airbags, you have an airbag, a shock absorber, and then it goes straight into your brake line hoses and everything else I just um everything else I just named. So um and that's about it really. Like it's just certain little things you gotta say. You no know, like um like sometimes you have to say it's not leaking air. When you're talking about like the the brake hoses, the brake chamber, or um, any hoses really, with any lines, and any um, any hoses or any lines is no bridges, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. So any plastic material is not um, it's probably not secured, not cracked bent or broken so remember that any plastic is not cracked bent or broken any hoses is not no abrasions bulges or cuts that's it but yeah so i'm just trying to give y'all a little bit of information you know before you get here so you won't be overwhelmed and hopefully it help you know don't forget to um like and subscribe to my channel and if you need to comment or anything like that ask some more questions you're free to comment on my video but this ain't money you know and i'm out